hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to get started with the new project that is the pos system in php mysql okay so guys we have seen the overview of simple pos system in php okay so now guys let's get started from the scratch so let's go to a file explorer and just create one folder pos system in php inside your htdocs folder so htdocs comes under xamp server so I'm using this XAMPP server if you are using WAMP or LAMP any other thing so accordingly you can create the folder okay so guys I have already created one POS system folder so now I'm going to open with a VS code editor so let's open that perfect and now let's get back on the browser so here I have opened the path that is POS system in PHP okay so now guys let's create one index page so we'll move here index.php and just type hello pos save it and refresh perfect so we are in guys and now let's integrate the bootstrap and few things to get started so as simple let's go to getbootstrap.com and just go on the docs and copy the starter template so here you find the bootstrap cdn link okay just click on this copy to clipboard and get back to your editor paste it so now guys we are going to set up the file structure to continue this application so first step let's create one includes folder inside that includes i am going to create one header.php file then again with the footer.php file and navbar also guys okay so let's create one navbar dot php file now get back on the index and you can just copy this the head part complete and paste inside your header okay so our bootstrap is linked here and change the title to pos system in php mysql okay now get back again to the index.php let's copy the body and script tags and paste inside the footer.php so let's paste here all done and now guys you require a jquery cdn link also so just go back and jquery cdn link cdn link search for it just copy the cdn link so i'm going to copy the minified script let's copy that and get back and paste here so let me remove this i don't require okay so let's save and now guys let's move back to index.php and include the header let's use include function to include the header file semicolon and again paste here to include the footer file okay so you cannot call directly like header and footer because it's inside the includes folder so add a includes folder copy it and paste here for the footer also perfect okay and now guys we are missing with one navbar so let's go on the get bootstrap just search for navbar and you can copy any of the navbar so i'll copy this navbar and modify some things from here so first step let me remove this fluid from here and just add a bg white and shadow that's it and then you can see the navbar and change the title here pos system in php mysql okay and this is our mobile toggle button and here your form is there let's remove that and these are the nav links okay so guys you can just keep home page and here for the login here just add login.php and this is for your home page so you can just add that as an index.php file save it and now you need to include this complete navbar inside your header.php okay so we are already inside a includes folder so we don't have to call the includes folder so let's call include function and directly call the navbar.php file 
okay all set and now you can check the output with the navbar let's move refresh awesome guys okay so let me just add a simple design here let's control x add a py hyphen 5 container and inside this margin top 5 then row column md12 and add a h1 tag and tell pos system in php mysql and again guys you can just add a login button like user a tag login add a class btn hyphen primary margin top four and this will be the login dot php okay so now let's see the output refresh perfect and here i see that uh, the navbar is at the left side i just want to push the navbar to the right side okay so margin start auto so here you see refresh perfect done so now guys let's get started with integrating the admin dashboard so as simple let's begin very fast so just search for the start bootstrap sb admin so here is a second link okay let's click on that and here you find the simple admin dashboard okay so we'll be using this you can just click on a uh, free download here like click on it and just you can find that it's downloading and yep start bootstrap admin is downloaded and now guys let's go to our downloads folder so guys here is a i have copied and pasted here and now let me extract it here extract all okay so it's extracted here done so you find many of the files that is your assets and css js and other files okay so let me double click and show you the output here perfect so this is our dashboard guys we are going to use this done let's move back on the copy this and get back to our project so here is my pos system let's create one new folder new folder call that folder as admin inside that admin you need to create a asset folder again so let's create one new folder assets okay and just paste that files okay and now we can just control x and paste outside one step back and you can delete this empty asset folder so we have total four folders inside one asset folder okay so let me just show you inside my editor so here is an admin folder inside that admin we have an asset folder so let me create one new file inside the admin folder index.php okay so it's very clear and now guys let us copy this includes folder and paste here inside this admin okay so again you need to add that and now we need to change all the codes according to our admin dashboard so let me clear all the links from here okay all clear and now let's open that file so open with the code now go to your index.html and just completely copy this and move paste here so this is my admin headers okay as simple and you need to change the path so we are inside the header you need to go to assets folder then css so here you need to call assets folder then css and style.css okay all set so one change was there and now guys let's move back to your admin dashboard and here is a navbar code okay so let's copy this move back go to your includes navbar.php paste it and then again get back to the template so here is one layout and here is a simple nav that is your side nav okay and this is your content area and this is the main div perfect and then footer now let's copy this sidebar 
create a file inside this includes of your admin as sidebar.php paste that so here your sidebar is added now now guys you need to get back on the header.php so first step you see that you have a navbar includes function where navbar.php okay and then your sidebar comes so let me show you so before that a div is arriving so let's copy that paste here and then sidebar arrives okay and called SID is ER sidebar and then again guys you need to see we have a main and then other things okay so let's copy that also and paste here so this is your main div layout and this is your main tag and after this you need to add the footer part so let's go to the footer.php here and add the remaining fields so yep let's move so here is my main div and all this footer contents let's copy this paste here done guys okay so now you can get back to your index.php first step let's include the header so call a include function and go to includes folder header.php copy and paste for the footer your footer.php okay and now your contents come here so this is your main content so let me just copy this few of the things and paste here inside my okay so this is the end of the row and the container fluid perfect so let's save and now guys let's get back on our POS system slash admin hit enter so you find that setup is done perfect so now guys we need to link the script tags so you just need to go on footer.php so here is our JS which goes inside the assets folder and then follows the script tag okay here and again you need to see what are these assets that is going to demo okay so it's going inside the assets and then going to demo directly perfect and here is one code that is asset slash js okay now guys done let's save and you can see the toggle part here awesome okay everything is working smooth and now guys let's change this title so you need to go to the nav bar so here is a POS system in PHP save it and you can comment this search box which is shown here okay done guys perfect so now guys if you want you can just keep on editing these things and add according to your requirement so we'll be seeing in the further videos okay so guys in this video that's it we have successfully seen how to integrate the admin dashboard and set up a file structure for this POS system so guys please continue next video guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share